You know, you gotta you gotta weep the rest. So, I mean, there's no no reason to hold back. I mean, you throw yourself on on piles, with you guys. You know, it's gonna be a physical game. I mean, you guys see their offensive line, so uh, we're, we're prepared to, to go in there and fight, which will be, be, be as physical as possible, and we'll, we'll rest on you know the, the following week. The two long touchdown passes last week. When you look back on the game, what did what did you see? Um. You know, just uh, just I discipline on the first one, and then the second one they ran a good play. Um, you know, our, our defense has been around for a long time, so if you, you know, if you look at the 20 plus years of what hurts us, you, you, there's always going to be something that hurts our defense. Uh, and, you know, we that's our job is to fight against that. Um, you know, but just a good good play on their half, and you know, something that we can fix on our half. What's the key to having fewer of those kind of really big plays allowed? Yeah, just I discipline, not letting anybody get behind you um, you know just make the game as boring as possible make them throw the short passes uh, they throw the short passes the whole game march it down the field kudos to those guys um, you know but we, we know that the, a shot's coming when that shot comes we'll make a play you were mentioning a couple weeks ago with the tablets being kind of a blessing and a curse is the other offense mm -hmm. can adjust too yeah. have you seen that kind of happen uh, not not so much versus us. I feel like it, it's been a positive for us. Um, you know, when it comes to the run game, and you know, you can see gaps open up. I feel like we've been we've been doing pretty good with correcting uh, where we messed up. Um, and then you know, just on the sideline adjustments, like you don't have to wait till halftime anymore. You don't have to wait till after the game anymore. I mean, you see a bad play or a play that can hurt us, we can usually change it right after we get to this high line, which has uh, been pretty cool and like a new new aspect to our defense this year. Kurt, you mentioned that you felt like maybe before the game, pre-game warm-ups, like it wasn't quite where it should have been. Did you, I mean, did you sense that at all? Or? Uh, I just, during the pre-game, I just try to focus on myself. Um, you know, I just, I try to stay in my own lane. Uh, obviously, you know, <laughs> Usually vocal to, to guys is getting them going, trying to get them juiced up. Uh, but I mean, he he know he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he's he's probably got a feel for things a lot a, be, a lot better feel than I do. Uh, so anytime he says something like that, I'm trusted. I, I know he saw something. After the Iowa State game, you were like, you're excited to see how this team is going to respond. Um, yeah. Like maybe behind the scenes stuff they practice whatever stuff that we haven't been able to see like how do you feel like that response yeah to i'd say our, our the way we we're practicing our intensity and in practice is definitely picked up um i mean we, the value of every rep around here um you know guys are just doing a little bit more uh, and trying to be a little bit better and that's, that's all we can ask for